This is probably going to be one of the most challenging school years on the books, probably for, for of course, for the kids, but also for the parents and even including, you know, in the knowledgeable, in the memory of a parent as well going to school. So there's a lot of things that families are going to need to take into consideration this year when they're deciding on whether their child's going to go to school in the school or to stay home and do virtual school. The way that kids grow and the way that they develop, it's important to have those social interactions, to have those interactions with other students and teachers and to, and to be able to learn in that environment is important. Other things that we think about, there's a lot of resources that schools have, of course, for, for children that we just don't have in our house. Um, and, and including, uh, you know, social workers, including, you know, um, other teachers, if there's other, if there's specific challenges that certain students have, there's those resources where those people can help students kind of get through those challenging pieces of their schoolwork that maybe that a parent cannot provide at the home. The fact that a child has a safe place to go have two meals in one day is, uh, is, is a really important factor when we're going back to school. If children go back to class, they're certainly at a higher risk of, of, of contracting COVID and bringing it back into the home. And if they're exposing other family members who might be in those higher risk groups, like above the age of 50 or 65, if with any other with any of those um, medical conditions that put people at higher risk for having complications of COVID, those people can get very sick from COVID. And that's the risk we need to be thinking about. The good things are the fact that you're minimizing your risk of contracting COVID, of course. If you have family members with high risk conditions that are going to have to be around your child frequently, this is certainly something you're gonna to wanna to consider. Another significant uh, pro of staying home would be the fact that uh, you're able to spend more time with your child and be more engaged with them in their learning. Um, some of the cons uh, would potentially, again, be, you know, having that limited social interaction. Uh, another thing to consider would be if parents have to work and if they have to work, that, of course, this distance learning is going to be much more challenging. And the other thing we need to think about is how well your child learns. And if you're in a situation where you feel like your child learns well, uh, virtually, and you can provide that support structure at home, I think it'd be an excellent option for those kids.